In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can protect your data 100% by having both an online backup and a second local backup that are always synchronized to your computer so that you will never have any chance of losing data. You have two redundant backups that you can restore from. So for in this first part, we're going to talk about the online backup. And what I use is something called LiveDrive. Now there are different things here you can use. We're going to talk about the backup here. This is the a very inexpensive option. It's under $8 a month and unlimited disk space. So you can upload all your computers onto the into the cloud and you can also access all your files from your phone. Okay, and then it tells you down here the feature list keeps your files safe, backs up all your files, no limit on space. So you pick the directories you want to back up. Hassle free and easy to install. You can restore files. It has an easy file restorer. You can view your files from any computer on the portal. And of course, it's safe and secure. You can also stream your music on here. And you can listen to your music that you have resident on your computer. It backs up to here if you back up your music. And then you can stream the music to your devices. You can also stream it right from any browser. Okay, so the first step is of course to create an account. So if you click sign up here, you can go and sign up for backup. Now you're welcome to use these other services if you want. They have their advantages too. The briefcase allows you to drop things right onto your onto a folder on your desktop and it will back them straight up to the live drive. But we're talking about backup in this one, $7.95 per month. You get a two week free trial so you can test it out before you have to pay. Okay, so at this point, you'll go ahead and sign up. So all you do, up at the top here, you put in the email address and you choose a password and confirm your password and then continue. Okay, here you give it some information. You do not need to give any credit card details for the free trial. Unlike some of them, it doesn't enforce that you put in any payment processing to start with. You can just put in your information and continue. Okay, once you've done that, you can pay in advance and you can get a better deal. So if you want to pay for a whole year, it ends up being the equivalent of 583 a month, etc. If you want to take the free trial, just click on this one here for free trial and then click create account. Okay, so at this point, we have our online account created. Now what we need to do is download the software here, which is a live drive, and then install it. Okay, now once it's installed, you're going to have to reboot it, and then your computer will come back up, and it's going to ask you to sign in here, so do that. Okay, so now it's setting things up. Once it's done here, it's going to ask you to give your computer a friendly name. Next, it's going to ask you what you want to save. And when you click one of these, it also saves any subfolders. You can also click more folders and pick from here. And at this point, we're finished. It just tells us that we can back it up, how we use it. There's some instructions you can go through here. And then down on the sidebar, or down on your bottom bar here, you can do a right click and use this. Okay, so if you select web portal, it comes into your web portal here, shows you how much you've used here, and you can download the app here. And when you go over to backup, it'll show you, see this is my laptop. If I added more computers, they'd show up along here. And then as you upload, your files and folders will be visible inside here. Okay, you see that it's already started to upload some things. And when you click on the Manage Backup Options, you can come in here and you can change or add any folders you want to backup. This is a tree view and you'll see anything that has a little shading in it means that that is partially backed up. So if you go in here, you can see that public is being backed up and part of this directory is being backed up. And then if you go in here, you can see that some of these 
are being backed up as well. Okay, there's the desktop documents, etc. Okay, so that's how you can add to your backup. Now, if you click in here, you can tell it how often you want to scan it. By default, it scans every hour, but you may want to scale that back depending on how you want to use this. I set it to four hours, and then you can do tell it when you want it to scan between certain hours. So if you only wanted it to scan between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m., you could set that here. You can also do a real-time backup. So as soon as it detects file changes, it'll automatically upload them. That isn't really a good option. It's going to take up a lot of resources. I wouldn't suggest you use that. Down here, if there's any file types you don't want uploaded, you could put them in here. For instance, if you didn't want to upload any AVI files, you could put .avi in here. So you just put it, put the extension in here and click add. Okay, so that's how you can back, you can set to your backups or add to your backups. Okay, and then your detailed status. This is, just shows you what it's doing. It shows how many uploads are left. As you see up here, pending uploads, that means that in its last scan, it determined that there were some things changed. Okay, and then status here, if you click on that, it just shows you what it's been doing on the server. Okay, so now this thing will start automatically when your computer starts. It'll keep everything backed up for you automatically. So you don't ever have to worry about losing files again. It's going to keep everything in sync that you wanted to keep in sync. So you can save all of your work without worrying about limitations of disk space. You do need to make sure that your internet service provider gives you enough bandwidth so that you can use this. You may be uploading a couple hundred gigabytes, so make sure that you know how much you need to upload and you know how much your internet service provider gives you in terms of bandwidth. Now, if you go back into the web portal, we go to account settings, tells you what your account type is, your statistics, so how many devices you have, folders, and so on, gives you an overview here. When you need to pay next, okay, this is uh, when the trial will expire. Now you can also add more Macs or PCs on here, or you can use network storage if you want to back up network drives. And it's uh, each additional $1.45 for each computer. Okay, now where it says software download here, if you ever have lost your information, there is a live drive restore program here. This one's for Windows. The Mac one is already built in. So all you got to do is run it and then you can run the wizard if you need to restore something. This also keeps several versions of your data. So if you deleted it or you changed it and you want to get a previous version, you can get it from here as well. Okay, let's click on the backup tab now. And you'll notice here there's a music browser. So if you selected for it to upload your media and you go to music browser, it'll bring up any music you have on your computer. And then you can sort it by artist, album, year, or genre. Let's just double click on artist here. Okay, so here's some music here. And then you can go inside these. And then if you want, you can stream the music right onto your computer. Okay, so I did, went over to my pictures here now. If you see view options here, if you had deleted some files, this is where you can show the deleted files and you can bring back a file you deleted if you accidentally deleted one. So this is a really nice feature if you accidentally nuke something on your computer permanently, it keeps a few versions on here. I think it's seven versions that you can go back and get. Okay, and then there's the app you can use on your Android or on your iPhone or iPad too. That's really nice. You can access your data from your device. Let's just have a quick look. We'll go in and we'll pick our Live Drive app here. Okay, and then we need to log in at this point. So 
we'll put in our information. Okay, now here we can pick where we want to go. Let's go to backup. And this is our backup folders we can access. Now, this is if we go into music. Here are our, our music. And we can get into each individual album here by artist. And then we can pick a song, add it to the playlist. And then here's the media area where you can do different things with your files. Okay, now we're playing it. Okay, so that's how you can access the data from your phone. And that's it. That's how you can set up LiveDrive to back up all your data.